Construction didn't stop in the loop at some point. Looters looked north. They hit a popular shopping area in Lincoln Park. CBS 2's Lauren Victory live near North and Sheffield to show us some of that chaos and the damage there. Lauren. Good evening, Erica and Brad. I'm at the Benny's Beverage Depot in Lincoln Park. It's actually one of three Benny's that was hit overnight. All three of them, unfortunately, are going to be closed until further notice. As we walk over here, you can see that the doors are boarded up, and unfortunately, those signs are up that it's temporarily closed. We know that cleanup and board up, as you can see, is done. Now comes the headache of insurance paperwork and combing through every piece of inventory to see what's gone. Here we go again, waking up to bottles of alcohol everywhere and a hangover, a horrible financial hangover that won't seem to go away. The bills just came in from the last time looters were here. Management at Benny's Beverage Depot in Lincoln Park only repaired this glass door last week. Around 2.30 a.m., criminals busted back in for more booze. They came with a plan, ransacking the rare and collectible section where liquor goes for hundreds of dollars. They cherry-picked mini bar bottles and rummaged through the cigar section, ripping open every drawer the eye could see before leaving. A brazen, frustrating, and I, I'm all over the place. Emotional act. I, I just can't believe what's happening. Sandy Luskin is both a volunteer and a victim. She spent her morning helping Best Buy clean up, despite dealing with looting at her family business downtown. They just went around and destroyed things just to be destructive. There was there seemed like no real point. Speaking of destruction, the Lincoln Park Best Buy parking lot resembled a war zone, from discarded bins to cardboard boxes to styrofoam shredded to bits. Casualties left behind indicate yet another expensive smash and grab. Luskin sees something else glaring amid the debris. We're all in this together. I don't know how many more times people have to remind each other. We are all in this together. Now, I noticed a boatload of cameras outside and inside the Bennies. I actually asked twice, could they share some video with me to see what happened overnight? I was told no to protect the criminal investigation, but a manager told me the footage he watched actually showed people calmly walking out of the store with their booze and other items. And he said that according to his calculations, it took police about an hour to get here this morning. Well, Lauren, the hits keep coming for Benny's because now they had to deal with the fallout from the storms as well. Yeah, that's right. So when the severe weather came here this afternoon, we actually heard some popping um, and it appears that a power line went down uh, about a block away from here. And we watched, unfortunately, the Benny's power go out. So it's a double whammy today uh, for here at this business and a lot of others across Chicago. Yeah. Live in Lincoln Park, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Definitely a lot going through that. Thank you, Lauren.